Sega. Hello, Nico here from the community team. Hi, Matty, and I'm here for the tea. And I'm here for the coffee as well. But we're here today for an exclusive Let's Play on the Last Roman Campaign Pack for Totowa Attila that will be released on the 25th of June. Absolutely, you might have heard about it on Rally Point or in the Twitch streams that we've already done about it. So it's basically um, a self-contained uh, campaign like you had with Caesar and Gold for Rome 2. So um, it's a unique map, it's in a different historical um, context and you're basically playing 130 years after the start of the Attila campaign. Everything has changed. The old migratory factions from Attila are now settled down. You have the Franks, the Visigoths, the Ostrogoths and the Vandals. They have all settled, have their own kingdoms and you can play as them or you can play as the Roman expedition and they are playing much more like a horde. Yeah, so it's the expedition and we're gonna focus on this faction. We're gonna show you uh, a few of the new units, new buildings, new event, Victoria conditions. Essentially, it's playing two campaigns for one faction. So, yeah. yeah. And I think we should just stop talking about yeah, it and actually should. show you some gameplay and show you what it's all about. Yeah, so, hope you enjoy it. Check it out. <clears throat> hello, here we are. Hello, hello, and here we um, are, yes. Our surroundings have changed a little bit. You a little have bit. changed? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, slightly. Shade you know, a bit. Time traveling, so. It's, it's weird. I won't bother explaining. Right, this. yeah, let's so, explain here we that. are for the uh, last Roman campaign pack for Totowa Attila. Um, here we are with the great Belisarius, the great man who is leading the Roman expeditions for the Roman Empire. This guy. As you can already see, we don't have a settlement. We are um, so we are an expedition. It works a little bit like yep. a, oh, the yep. horde mod. So we uh, basically have uh, traits that helps to reclaim the settlements for the Roman Empire. As you can see, reclamation, there. which is a new option. So either you reclaim or you take the settlements. Also, the Roman wheel. So you can switch between uh, normal stance or forced march um, and the uh, encampment. Um, stance without fortify. any using yeah fortify an encampment stance without using any movement points yeah which is very helpful when yeah. you when you um, kind of try to reclaim stuff you can kind of go in um, attack a city take it for the empire and then move on uh, and and kind of do a reclaim and run tactic if you yeah. will and well basically was we've landed here in northern Africa which is currently. Um, the territory of the Vandalic Kingdom. So they're our first enemy. They're not going to be happy. No, they don't um, like us. Gelimer, uh, their king, looks pretty yeah. e e annoyed. E e uh, so we're going to have to deal with them first. Um, but then the Ostrogothic Kingdom, who's setting in Italy. Yeah, setting in Italy, they will be our next big target essentially because if we want to take back the territory of the old Roman Empire, we have to take back Rome. That's so just they are right next to the uh, Roman Empire right yes, now. Yes, they so are. So the, it, here in the Balkans is where the Eastern Roman Empire on this map is, basically. Um, but that's controlled by the AI, yeah. so it's not It's not going to be... Um, we're not going to have to deal with that. Not yet. Directly, unless... Things go wrong. Yeah, things go wrong. Uh, and then we have the Frankish Kingdom here in France, and the modern in France. Um, they're probably going to be... A problem a bit later on, and same goes for the Visigoth King, uh, Visigothic Kingdom um, here on the Iberian Peninsula. So yeah, there there are the the main factions that you can play this campaign with, but we're going to focus on the Roman expedition. expedition. Yes, and as I said, so you have two options: either you reclaim the settlements for the Roman Empire, mm -hmm. or you take them for yourself and start building your own empire and that explains why you have two paths in the victory objectives mm -hmm. so the first one was the um, the expedition victories so yeah, essentially one. if you want to uh, do things like um, so be very historical about it and have very historical gameplay that's that's for you but if you want to go your own way and become a separatist this is for you so essentially it's two campaigns for mm -hmm. one faction yeah. um, so objective changes uh, yeah. Uh, you have different missions, but we're gonna show you um, the two ways to play this faction with the Roman expedition. Here we go. And here we are. Yeah. 533 AD, that's when we start. Um, and our first mission is basically to uh, survive until spring 535. Um, so that's about 24 turns, 25 turns. Um, and yeah, our mission is to reclaim territory for the empire. 
Yes, so uh, survive. Survivor is still key in this in this campaign. So yeah. it's still part of the uh, of the core game in this in this campaign, as it was in the um, in the grand campaign as well. So here we are. Our setup is uh, so we have two armies. So we have Belisarius and um, another one you like very much. John the uh, Yes, that's right. The Watchman army. And um, so as you can see, we are in the uh, northern um, northern Africa. Uh, we are in the lands of the uh, Vandalic Kingdom. Yeah. And as you can see, they don't really like us very much. We are no, at war. And at war. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's already quite quite the challenge. Uh, mm -hmm. If we have a look at the uh, diplomatic status, so we have at the east the um, Roman Empire. Yeah. We, uh, with a lot of armies, so we don't really have to worry that much about uh, the defense yeah. of the Roman Empire at the moment. And um, so they're pretty, they're pretty, set, pretty yeah. well set up. And um, the um, Ostrogothic Kingdom at the moment, they're still neutral, but they're not actually, they're not too happy with us. Um, their attitude is rather, yeah, on the dark side. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, but at the moment, our our main, our main threat, our main um, issue is with uh, vandals down south. Yeah, and yeah, uh, let's have a look. So, um, like we say, the uh, expedition mode, right? Yeah, so, the stands. Um, yeah. Uh, we have, so we can switch between the encampment and the normal stands. So if, um, if I have to move my army, let's say, halfway to the nearest settlements, yeah. and then I decide to have a look at the building and start building something, I yeah. can switch to encampments without using any action point yeah. and start building something. So we have a couple of new uh, buildings now. So yeah, so we've got we've got some unique buildings um, that you can get through the uh, the new tech tree as well. Um, we quite like this <laughs> because it's probably um, one of the best. <laughs> pretty pretty funny um, artworks, new, new yeah. artwork for that. Um, yeah, like especially like this one. <laughs> we saw that he, he, looks, he looks very happy. Um, but yeah, uh, so we would go for for the latrines to um, increase our integrity and our uh, expedition growth. Um, if we were to select a new technology, we can go down obviously the civic route or the military route. I would say we go civic, yeah, down civic route, um, public order. Um, at this point, which is more more um, helpful when you're a separatist, but um, mm. still, um, yeah, I th I think we can go for that because there's quite a lot to to gain from it in total. Yeah. Um, Especially in terms of um, buildings and uh, kind yeah. of setting up your infrastructure. Indeed. But as you said, you can. Uh, we can now um, just. We decide to not actually um, stay in the encampment stance. Um, we don't lose any um, action points like we would have in Attila. Yeah. And we can just go and attack straight away. Settlements and yeah. um, it it doesn't seem to be a fair fight, but that's it's fine. Might be a bold move, but yeah. you know, well, um, too why, bad for them. why why should we waste any time? Um, we're here to conquer, so let's do it. Aggressive. Nice move. Mm. Well done, Bezos. Such a man. Such a great man. <sighs> what? Wow, that's that's quite an emphatic win. <laughs> And uh, here we are. So the two options we get now, once we uh, once we um, so uh, attack a settlement, we, yeah. you can reclaim and declare independence. Yeah. So it depends on what you want to do. We are playing uh, as the expedition. Yeah. So I'd say reclaim for the Roman Empire. Yeah. You can see here um, we're, we're we're carrying in uh, the banner of the Roman Empire into the city. That's that's what we do. Um, we could we could just declare independence, but. Yeah. Let's not do that. Okay. Let's let's stick to our plan. We're gonna reclaim this. And, and there we, we are. are. So as you can see, the border of the region yeah. became blue, and the um, the icon of the Roman Empire is now on the on the settlement. So yeah. we just we just so attacked that settlement and and gave it to the Roman Empire. Yeah. And the Roman Empire handles everything else. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, essentially, we just. We're we're kind of that cavalry. We right we right in. We take settlements and then give it to them to deal with, and then we move on and kind of keep keep the steam um, roller rolling. And so it's it's a take one settlement after the other. A proper reclaim and run strategy. Yeah. So that's that's what what you can do. But you let's can just things pre let's just pretend um, we could go back in time. So can we go back? Maybe we can. can. We?
Wow. Well, here we are. Um, let's... Let's attack the settlement. Let's attack the settlement and let's take it. It's ours now. Not messing about. Uh, We're done. Poor guy. He deserved it. So mean. Yeah, so, so Thistress is ours now. What shall we do? Shall we shall we reclaim it for Justinian? I don't know. I don't think so. I've had enough of this guy with yeah. his with his crown and everything. No, no, no. We're gonna do our own thing. We're gonna what take this think? settlement for us and declare our independence. Do it. There we go. Well, at least we are one, you know, yeah. before doing anything, there is a warning. Do you really want to do it? Because yes. there is no turning back. I yes, we want. I really want to do it. And okay. here we are. Okay, Ooh, yeah. instant, um, instant repercussions. Um, Justinian is furious. And if that's not enough, look at our money. It seems like it doesn't want to good. give us money anymore. So, so obviously this, this comes from... Um, from our economy changing, so yes. we, we were heavily reliant on the settlement, uh, the, the encampment buildings, um, which are now gone. The only buildings we've got now, those three, are in Thistorus, and not only are they damaged, but yeah, low tier as well. They're not, not that many. Yeah. Um, they're low tier. We can't recruit um, the same amount of units anymore. Um, yeah, it's 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 less than ideal. And yeah. if uh, you if you have a look. <laughs> Uh, the campaign map. Ooh, that's a lo that's a lot of red. That used to be a lot of blue. Um, not so cool. They don't like us anymore. So now we've got two enemies, and and these guys, the Ostrogoth, I think they're probably happier with us now than they were before. Yep. Only because we are no no longer yeah. a part of the Roman Empire. But yeah. um, so they could essentially become an ally, but we don't know that yet. They could, so, they could. Uh, but you know, uh, until then, uh, it's. I mean, we don't have income anymore. We barely have any money left. So you know what? I That's think a tough spot. we we should have thought about it. You know, before you yeah. know going independent and separatist and and not having anything anymore. No well, more support. Well, you say that, but yeah, let's 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 use let's use the time machine again. Let's, let's do it. Let's go into the future this time, but let's go into the alternative future. Go into the future where we didn't decide to declare independence. No, we stayed with Justinian, and see what what the, what the game is like at the end of um, five hundred thirty-four. See you there. So here we are. Yes, five thirty-four A.D. and it's December. Even though it looks it looks quite nice, but that means uh, that is because we're in Africa and there's yep. no snow there. And uh, so we are playing the expedition, so we got Northern Africa, uh, we still have so two armies, uh, as you can see I went to uh, Corsica, I have my main army over there, uh, it, that's Bezos, no it's not, that's um, your favourite one. That's John the Armenian. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah and we, so we, we reclaimed um, Corsica in north of Sardinia because... Um, we we are allied actually with the Sardinians, but yeah. Um, yeah, some of their some of their regions were reclaimed by Western separatists, and yes. then we just took we them. took them. So that took th them for the empire. That, that so was that was good, kind yeah. of convenient for us, um, yeah. especially since uh, one of our objectives is also to um, to get yes um, to to have, was have a military one. presence at the end of uh, chapter one. Yeah. In Sardinia, yeah, Corsica. So. so we get another thousand for this one, which is which is pretty good. Uh, yeah. We couldn't manage to finish this one because yeah. uh, bear bears they were not too sure about us. So no. we said, okay, let's wait a little bit more. So I don't think we can complete these objectives. But obviously, we did the bonus objectives for uh, the expedition, which is reclaim Cartago and um, ensure that your faction does not settle, which is yeah. you know the main reason we, yeah. we have the expedition. So and and the uh, the third and fourth um, uh, chapter objectives uh, they are just for the separatists. So yeah. um, you can have. Because you have to decide which one you get, you you're, you're never going to get all six of them. Yeah. Um, because they're aligned on which which path you take, basically. Indeed. Cool. So let's, um, um, let's end the turn, I think. And yeah. Um, it's going to be a different world in a moment. I, I get I'll the feeling now. It's going to be quite Spoiler different. Alert. Oh yeah. A stronger thick kingdom hates us. I can understand. Uh, the. Roman Empire is doing a lot as well, so that's good. They're attacking a lot. 
yeah, we we're gonna we're gonna throw our things in the fray. So so yeah, there we go. This is one of the one of the unique um, global events that happened throughout the campaign. So um, as if you have watched uh, Rally Point, you would have seen Jack talk about this. So basically, there was a um, a super volcano blowing up in, near Indonesia, and yeah, the consequences were that um, the the skies were filled with ash for quite some time, uh, and th the Romans didn't actually know what the reason for that was. Um, but um, yeah, yes, we we know, mm. um, and we kind of. We, we know now that was a super volcano, but they thought, oh, this this might be the end of times. What's going on? Um, everything is dark. Um, we all all our all our crops are dying, um, and so on. And this actually does have quite a um, quite an effect um, on the campaign map. We'll show you in a moment. But yeah, this but as you can see in the background, everything looks a little bit darker already. Um, we also have uh, these kind of events now in this uh, campaign pack. Yeah. Um, we it's not. It's more of a notification right now. So um, yeah, this will turn into a mission in a in in a few turns. Okay. But Antonina is basically asking us to get her some jewels because um, she likes them. She likes the bling because she's worthy. Bling bling. What, so you know, um, diamonds are girls' best friends. That's what they say, right? So yeah, as you can see, the 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 campaign map now looks. Much darker. Much darker. Um, so this is kind of a uh, twilight situation. But um, it's, it's not just visual. So uh, exactly. if, if you know if it wasn't enough to spend years in, in the dark, uh, that has uh, an impact on the uh, fertility of the lens. As you can see, um, it used to be uh, green in most of of these regions, and. Uh, as you can see now, it's red, so it's but barren. Uh, so. so it's barren lands. Uh, this used to be a rich, so the maximum yeah. um, fertility, a rich area. Uh, it's now only meager. So this this has quite a quite a big an impact. So if you, as you know, all your throughout the campaign, there is going to be events that um, that that trigger and kind of throw another curveball at you, yeah. and you, you have to deal with that. So this, so, this, is, oh, this, this is one. Um, yeah, there's one of those those events. So survival is still key yeah. of of this uh, of this campaign, and uh, yeah, you have to you have to be prepared. So um, let's I th I think let's uh, fight a battle somewhere. We are. Uh, I think. Shall we attack the Western moment, uh, the the Ostrogothic kingdom? Yes, I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, go across the sea and land in. Near Roma or something like this, and attack a few a few settlements then, and uh, yeah. give them back to uh, the Roman Empire. Yeah. So let's do that. So I think we we haven't set any targets, but the uh, Roman Empire seems to be focusing on the Italy. So we oh, have a new mission. Yeah, um, Antonina, our wife, uh, wants wants some gems, and um, for that she wants us to to raid um, the region. Caesarea, which is currently owned by the Berbers, so that that will have some that's freaky. <laughs> um, that will have some ramifications for us if we do that. But she says if we do that, we'll get a reinforcement army. I would say that sounds pretty good. Let's check out our other army. Yes. Um, so can we get any closer to? We can, but not so close. Oh no. What I could do is that's looking pretty good. So the issue is if I go there, yeah, I'll, uh, they won't be happy because this is um, Sardinian, and these are bears. Yes, but we've got a non-aggression pact with the Sardinians, I believe. Um, let me check that again. We're friends with them. Yes. Welcome. Yes, so it should so be fine. So that should be fine if we um, go into that territory. Can I go for there? No. Yeah. Um, all right. So, so next down. next time we can we can take that. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I think it only says we don't really Reddit. have to worry about um, Reddit. Yeah. So we we don't even have to our, attack it. Our foothold there. Um, that's that's for the empire to deal with. Yes. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna raid um, Caesarea. Yes. But yeah, let's let's carry on. All right. One more turn, and then we're there. So here we are. Um, we could recruit some units, but I think um, I'm going to attack. 
this one, mm -hmm. have a quick look at what we have. And we have another, I'm not too sure what it is, but uh, we could recruit another calf for sure. And uh, yeah, give it a try. Yeah, go for it. All right, it's gonna be a, a close one. Yeah. Uh, they have a lot of uh, midlife units. Uh, yeah. A so lot of um, already damaged. Um, yeah. They were packs. No, they weren't in the in the battle before that. No, they were not. But um, we're gonna play this one as well. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're gonna see what what we do next. But uh, yeah, gonna see what happens there. I didn't check the map before. I should have. Uh, so again, um, a settlement, a uh, small settlement. But yeah, this doesn't have any. Um, yeah, there's obviously there's no naval battle battles there. There's mm. no naval reinforcements. Um, so we're gonna have to do that on our own. Um, yeah. Be careful about your general. I say that straight away. Uh, because you know I'm gonna it is is all right but as you can see you know the um on the battlefield you also have the uh ash is everywhere the so ash, yeah. it's 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 if if you if you think that um the grand campaign wasn't you know dark enough and apocalyptic enough uh this one is even more yeah. <laughs> on the battlefield yeah, so yeah, that's that's really cool this it, it, it's not it snow really okay. rather bleak <laughs> yeah it's yeah. quite it's quite uh quite scary so we do have um so we have the scouts that can. So we have a lot of. Uh, we have one, two towers. Mm -hmm. uh, I would. Obviously, I cannot go this side because mm -hmm. there is no path. But I try to try to go this one. Yeah. So have. Um, all right. So two sides. You're going to split your forces. Yeah. I think it's probably the best to handle this kind of uh, this kind of, of situation. Um, I'm gonna have my spare units, spare units there. You picked the wrong ones. Yeah, I'm uh, not there. Another one there. Um, I'm gonna focus on. So what's the range of the tower? Okay, we are we are pretty safe, but I I'm gonna have to. Oh, so which way are you gonna go? Well, you're gonna keep your slingers with with you. I think I'm uh, gonna on one side. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, I'm gonna give one unit to the other side, but I'm gonna have uh, two. So two this side and one this side yeah. just to. Just to harass uh, with my slingers if I if I need to, but um, I'm gonna focus on this side. I'm gonna keep my general on this side as well. Um, safe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah. I still. They've have recovered a few um, men. They're, they're now. Yeah. They're now 16, so 12, but still. So I could have this calf going for this tower. Yeah. And this one reinforcing almost straight away. Yeah, but would they would they survive that? That's the question. Uh, we can try. It's always uh, interesting to. I mean, you only have 15 left, right? So, yep. um, given that, I would suggest that they defend that tower. Um, I would yep. say that. But they have an like excellent capture power, so they might be fast enough. Yeah. So yeah, let's give it a try. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, my group and this is my second group. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. That's that's uh, that's a lot. Wow. Well, um, I might have picked the wrong side to give uh, to give to some. Yeah. Our hidden units have been discovered, and you've just run into a trap. <laughs> yeah. It's a trap. It's a trap. But it's the a trap. I, I spotted the enemy general, so um, yeah, you better be careful now. Um, I need to hurry and cap this one. Take care of those two. Um. So let's do. Can I go this way? No, I cannot. Oh it's. I need to be careful. I need to keep. Those two units. This way. This one attacking. This one attacking. This one going this way. Or even better. This way. 
Um, all right, so what do we have? Uh, safe. That's good. Yeah. So let's give orders to attack these, and let's flank with these. Yep. Let's try to not break the line. Bringing much slingers as well. Yep. It's a good thing though, um, on th on that side, um, you're, you're against the units that have already um, had some casualties, so yeah. um, you are in a, in a slightly more advantageous position. Yeah, but that doesn't mean the that would be easy. Yeah. I'm going to try to use uh, my scout rate on these. It's not an easy fight. I need to get these very quickly and kill that general. Boom. That's... Alright. It's not easy. Covered or have they? No, they haven't. They're gone, aren't they? Yeah. The oh, that is very unfortunate. I have been at that. Get ready. Ooh, that's not good. No. Not sure to win this fight. Have a lot of uh, range in it as well. Okay, and the general's dead, that's good. Yeah? Yeah. I managed to keep the general, I kept mine as well, so that's pretty good. Oh, I've got a full amount of cavalry. Let's do a quick charge on this one, see what goes. Mm, could have been better. It's not too bad. Okay. All right. So. So this this side is looking. Yeah, it's looking a bit better. Much better. Yeah, I need to capture this one very quickly. I need to reinforce these. Yeah, uh, and, and you still maybe. Uh, you could send those up to hit those. Yeah, I'm just charging this one very quickly. I don't want to lose this side. It's like uh, two good units. Could use my commander, my general, sorry, to go there. This. Alright, let's flank this one. Gotta be careful about your general, you don't want to lose him. Yeah. Um, so don't forget there's, there's. Oh, there's um, still a tower out there, aren't you? Exactly. Alright, let's um, Ooh, put him this away. Is, this this is, is not good, I can. <laughs> It's dangerous. Yeah, it is. We've got six left. It'd be fine. Six men left, so. Still need to keep moving with the general. It's fine, they're giving up, I think. Yeah. Victory! <sighs> so That's that was it. A close one. <laughs> yeah, that was a close one. Um, obviously, it's much harder because we are fighting. Romans, so uh, no, Ostrogothic Kingdom. So, yeah, they, they, ha they do have new units as well, good units. So, mm -hmm. yeah, also they, they, they have we're fighting their 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 settlements and they have yeah. they have better more. I don't have siege equipment, although it's you not know, the settlements doesn't have wars. I would always you know use siege equipments and never attack settlements without. So yeah, that's uh, yeah, one more settlement for the Roman Empire. We keep reclaiming. Yeah. Wittiges. Mm -hmm. Vitigis. Um, yeah, he's been slain by John the Armenian and 
Yeah, now the Empire has a foothold in yeah. Italy. I will save the Italia. units and put it back to our uh, encampment. Yeah, absolutely. And recruit new units. Because it's going to gonna, um, refresh, yeah. replenish our, our army Much faster. quicker. Yeah. And, yeah. We could recruit new units as well. Um, I think we can have a, a, a quick look at the new units. Um, no, no, this one's the no. wrong army. But yeah, maybe, uh, I don't know. The, the other one should have more. To it's more to the left. So this one, uh, we we could... So if you change to uh, normal and try to get closer... Uh, yeah. And maybe we have enough... Yeah, we crossed. We've Alright, we crossed. Line. So can we switch to raiding? And uh, mission succeeded. So, yeah. Awesome. So, um, let me have a quick look at uh, the map we do we have do spine. have so we're gonna get some reinforcements um, later on for yeah. this I'm and just having a quick loop uh, oh, what do you want to yeah, what, no. what do you want to do no it's fine okay cool um, all right yeah so we can we can have a look at the new units yes new units yeah. so um, um if you wanted to recruit some, um, mm. obviously there, there. Okay, that's. Well, um, yeah, I think we we don't have. We have twenty on twenty, so we cannot recruit any new. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, that's so, it. Um, so um, we've got the exploratories. Um, if you, you can upgrade them um, further once we've got this. Yeah. Um, into um, preventories. Yeah. Um, so they're they're the the, the new kind of oh, wait. There are some of the new units. Um, yeah, the last these one. These Federati horse archers, they're pretty cool. Yes. Because um, so. they've got um, guerrilla deployment, much like the Exploratories, but they. Um, oh no, they don't. No, they don't. They don't. Not these. Um, so the, f the Scout Equities have that. Yeah. But they're still um, very, very strong. It's a, it's a tier 2 um, unit, basically yeah. an elite unit that has um, the fear trade they've got um, immune to to fear as yeah. well um, they've got the pathic shots yeah. and, and and they can they can shoot while they're moving yeah. so they're yeah. ex excellent for harassing your yeah. your enemies so you, you could have like a proper heavy ranch calf with these and and play it you know have like proper sword units and start your your battle with like mm -hmm. you know deadly ranch calf Mm -hmm. uh, as if you were like you know playing as the hands or something yeah. like that you know so it's very very versatile and uh, yeah. uh, there is a cataphracty as well we already have it we start yeah. with this with this one I used it a lot yeah. I like it very much they're pretty um, good so they are pretty good uh, they, they don't have I mean they they ha they are good shock, shock calf mm -hmm. and they have um, they have ranged uh, weapons as well, so they have uh, missiles as well, so they are pretty good. Yeah. Uh, less versatile than you know the previous range unit we saw, but they are they are definitely very good uh, shot cav, and you start with that one. So yeah, try to keep it. Although it's very expensive, they are it, it is a very useful unit. Cool. Um, yeah, that's, right, that's should, basically it. Shall we pass the turn and see what happens? Yeah, let's pass the turn and see what happens, uh, and then. Uh, we should we could jump back in time and show you how it looks like if we have kept our empire, our kingdom. Okay, that's just a priest. That's good. Um, yeah. What's the world would look like if we decided to found the Roman, the kingdom of Rome? Yeah. Do you think that the kingdom of Rome would be as big as the Roman Empire right now? Or? I know. We'll find out. Definitely not. Increased integrity. So, do we have a new? Um so, yes, that's one of the uh, new features. So, we, yeah. we said you get assistance from these uh, key characters that help yeah. you in your expedition. So, we managed to complete the mission, and yeah. one of the rewards was uh, reinforcements. So, here we are. We we they gave us a new um, a new army. So let's yeah, set it straight to. Um, oh, we could have actually yeah. gone to Sicily. Let's do it. Yeah, nice. So this is quite helpful. We've got a new reinforcement army, um, so we can attack Sicily straight away. Yeah, easy peasy. Easy um, peasy. One, 
one more thing um, I was just thinking about, but I've forgotten now. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Maybe if you go back in time, you can remember. Yeah, if we were to go back in time. Yeah. And we can do that. And we will. Um, or at least uh, we, we can we can jump into an alternative timeline where this has never happened. Something because, else happened. Because that's, that's how, how magic works. And yeah, we can have a look at um, the same, pretty much the same situation, well, the same time, but a um, completely different situation, actually, because we won't be um, part of the expedition anymore. We will have um, separatists. The Kingdom of Rome. Kingdom of Rome. <laughs> so, Let's check it out. So here we are, different uh, different uh, situations. Yeah, um, we are no longer the expedition. Uh, this is your uh, your uh, party as the um, separatist. Uh, so yeah, what can you tell me about it? Well, what I did was um, I was pretty early on. I um, I sold half of my troops. Essentially, I um, I sold. The, the troop that the watchman that was with John the Armenian and then I went for Thistrus, um, attacked that, took it over and f tried to consolidate my position a little bit, um, fought off a few attacks and took um, Suvetula and then um, went over to take Hadramentum. Um, that was quite a laborious effort and um, took me quite some time and in the meantime I did actually lose John the Armenian, which mm. I was very sad about because he was one of the governors, and and when they raided one, so when they raided the settlement that he was set in, I believe it was um, Sufetula. Mm. Um, yeah, he and was is, he was killed what, because he he was part of the defensive. Um, May you rest in peace. Defensive forces there. Yeah, but in the end, I managed to actually reclaim um, six six regions. Uh, including Car Carthago, which is obviously one of the um, one of the objectives. Yeah, and um, yeah, we've got the same uh, the same issue here that we uh, the fertility has has changed. Yes, uh, quite significantly. So, so this is not this is not great. So we haven't really checked what the Roman Empire is doing, but um, so far they they have left us alone. Didn't we didn't um, fix the buildings in this one? Yeah, in yeah. the diorites. Let's uh, let's hope we don't get another uh, civil war there. <laughs> Ooh, rebellion. There we go. Moors, and so, there we are. The Moors are coming. Yeah. Like we said, now we've got another another problem. Um, so problems everywhere. Mm -hmm. So the separatists are here. Let's get rid of them quickly. Um, but we're, we're going to fight a battle against the Moors. Yeah, I've got more Vandals coming. Still trying to deal with our spy. Yeah. It looks oh, like... Oh, Hippo Regius is... Yeah, so we are being attacked on two... Uh, two fronts, yeah. Yeah, two fronts. All of a sudden. Yeah. Um, I mean, we still... We're, we're at war with uh, the Ostrogoths. We're at war with the Roman Empire, although they tend to leave us alone for now, which is good. Yeah. Um... Um, our so, our allies just legged it back to Sardinia. Ooh, yeah, and uh, it doesn't look good for us. <laughs> no, it really doesn't. So it turns out the the Moors have some reinforcement coming, and we didn't plan that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I I would suggest we we handle this army right next to yours in uh, Thagates Thagast. Thagasti? Yeah, Th yeah Thagasti. Um, and we try to deal with that army um, as soon as possible before they, they all merge to one yeah. to one settlement. So, and that would be a, a good fight okay. if they don't go too far. So, here we go. Will you do us the honors? You want to? No, do we <laughs> carry on? All right, so we have a lot of spears, a lot of swords, three Luckily. range units, four range units, and a. <laughs> I read an amazing lens. Yes, so did I. <laughs> so let, let's read an lens. amazing. Uh, I think it's a short curve, be, so. <laughs> be careful about the amazing lenses, but yeah. yeah. Um, the the thing to do now is just they've they've had some attrition, so. It's good for us. 
Um, let's see what we can do. <laughs> let's see what we can do. How, uh... Maybe we can use the terrain. Uh, yeah, I see a hill there. Maybe we can use this one. There's a lot of forest, so it's gonna be complicated. It's gonna be hard to spot all of the units. Uh, I haven't checked if they are using um, units with carrier mode. Uh, yes. So obviously, my, the, the, with the uh, volcano eruption, it's much harder to uh, see everything, but. But it's already cleared up a little bit, you guys can see. Um, so I could put this one here. And yeah, you've got uh, scout equities um, that you can position on the other side as well. I'm gonna put them They've got here. Deployments. Or maybe in the forest, maybe. Yes, yeah, cool. so that's it. Uh, I can already spot <laughs> a unit there. Maybe I can spot more if I put them there. No, no I can't be able to do that, obviously. It would be too easy, but... Um, yeah, you'd rather want to charge downhill. Wow, that's really kind of... I'll have to... I think I'm, I'm gonna try to rush this hill mm -hmm. and... and Keep, and stay there. Yeah, and stay there. So let's do a nice line. That's a bit long. Yeah, it's a bit too. So like yeah. this. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to use these to flank. Actually, not a great um, army setup. I just realized. It's it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be, we're gonna have to play defensive. But yeah, yeah. We don't really have many attacking options. Not really. <laughs> so that we have some archers, so we're gonna try to. That's my problem. I was I was defending at the beginning, um, and then um, we're gonna try to have a nice range with the um, the archers. Try to play on the moral as well. Yeah. Uh, and un click uh, fire at will. Let's say. Uh. Well, I'll keep it for now. Okay. Because I'm not gonna attack straight away. I'm gonna play it very defensive. So let's see what we can do. Um, general, I'm gonna put it there and I'm gonna select everything and hit play. And try to get move it all up. Yep. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Yes. Um, I'm gonna stay wanna, in. You might want to bring them over, maybe somewhere hilly as well. So the problem is obviously if they're too far away and they're going up the hill. Yeah. We don't want them to get caught off guard. It's uh, maybe charged down the hill by some um, artillery, uh, some cavalry. Um, that would be. I'm not. If 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 I were cool. the enemy, I would play it quite safe as well because it's a very. Really, I think I have the advantage, you know. I like I yeah, have the you're. the luck to. To be on that side of you've the got, of the terrain, yeah, so. you've got the height advantage. That's for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm gonna put go. my. You can, you can defend the hill. Um, let them come for you. Yes. Rather than the other way around. Um, you've got cover for your. For your kind of your ambush units um, that you can exploit. I'm gonna try to scout a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I'm try to. So these are still hidden. I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer. All right. So let's try to save the hill. Obviously, it's gonna break my. Uh, I need to. Yes, that will work. I think. Let's try to get these there. Okay. Um, when I'm I'm looking at the mini map, your cavalry is now in position. The one that you sent out to scout. Yeah. But yes, yeah, you know what we're benefiting from is that they don't see us, but they're benefiting from us as well. So at the moment, we only know the location of three of their units, which leaves 17 unaccounted for. <laughs> and that's going to be quite interesting to see when, where they pop up. Yeah. And and what their what their strategy is. It's starting to march, I think. Looks like they are yeah, the, the starting to get a move on. I uh, can try maybe to... they have spotted your, your cavalry. No, they are still hidden, but rather. my... I think my exploratories were not... So they are leaving the forest, obviously they are being... They are not hidden anymore, hmm. but... 
Oh yeah, but they are, they are moving over towards you, so you gotta be careful. You gotta keep an eye on your on your cav now because um, enemies could pop out in the forest at any time, basically. Good try and if to you flank like this, see what happens. And if you're gonna run into them, oh, actually, if I use the heal like this, they won't see me coming. So yeah. I have I to think you need before you do that you need to draw them out. Um it seems like they're quite compounded there with quite a lot of units. Yeah. AI seems to try and make a decision what to do. They seem to have seen your cap, which throws them a bit into disarray. Should I get closer actually? Yeah, you can still you can still you still have the height advantage if you take go down a bit further. You kind of I think have to bait them. Uh, before you can actually bring your cavalry, cavalry into yeah. the play. Alright, so I think the, these units are Don't still here. Don't forget to bring your skirmishes but, um, with yeah, you. Yeah, I know, I know. Should be fine. So your archers um, and your javelin, yep. javelin men. Get my sword units for flanking. Sword units over there. And now they seem to... Well, you know, it's good. They 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 keep exhausting themselves, basically. Yeah, they are quite exhausted. They're very tired. Where my units are quite good. So, yeah. aside from these, they are getting a little bit tired. But so they're not really sure what they want to do, uh, and that that kind of works against them for us. So, yeah, what you really want to do is, yeah, they they need to. Um, this is a heavy. <laughs> Not sure I can take this one to be honest, but mm. um, all right. Let's try to get a little bit closer. As you know, if I stay here, I'm I'm still okay. But I think if you still like, if you, yeah, um, as long as they. That's it. I, I think, think the problem is that they don't see the bulk of the, of your army, so they're not sure where to attack. Um, careful about your. Scout equities, they're getting yeah, getting peppered with arrows, I believe. Oh no, that was just flash. <laughs> no, I think they were they were these these are not, I think. They were being attacked. Mm. Alright, so let's so do some uh, I think I do have Oh not the spears, not the spears. No 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 no. I was using my uh, my wrench. I'm not sure if I if I used. Yeah, yeah, you've already used that before. Most of, most of them. Um, so let's try to bring down your. Yeah. Bring down a line a little bit more. Um, they will see your army and then they'll they'll come. There we go. Get close out here. Mm. Not making it easy for us. Nope. Mm. Alright. Slate. Hmm? Slate. Yeah. Alright, let's try to move a little bit closer, get my units at range, and harass them, force them to. You know, I'm gonna. Get this line, yeah. This tiny hill there, yeah. Like I need, I think, a bigger. Don't forget your sort units. You want them to be yep. able to attack. And it's good. Our troops are being ambushed. We are being ambushed, apparently. So let's use my testudo. Right, and my archer should be able to. Are they? Yeah, they should be able to attack from now on. Hmm. As soon as you attack the archers, um, they should make their make up their mind about attacking us or not. I'd hope.
So I know one of the calves went this way. So I need to be careful. I need to get my general a little bit closer up there. And get these units up like this one. Right. There we go. I haven't seen this one, huh? <laughs> the enemy is attacking our general. Oh, my general is being attacked as well. That's good. There we go. <laughs> right, maybe I can start attacking this one now. I think I better do something now. Wait a minute. Let's just play some heavy shot on this one. Careful about your skirmishes. Yeah. Their spearmen are gonna crush into them. Okay, now's the time to encircle them. And your other spears will get get into trouble as well. Should be fine. I get those units and there you go. We'll do a bit of flanking. Okay, this one goes there. Beware the amazing lances. Um. Are they tired? No, they're not. Uh, it's the tearing. Okay, this one is fine. Two more sort units on the side and your pikes. Okay, uh, my yeah, general bring your closer. general in. I'm gonna try to break those four units as soon as possible. Franking, let's do it. Ooh. Oh yeah, the amazing, the amazing lancers are pretty amazing. It seems. There we go. So yeah, that looks like a bad trade. Your scout equities have no chance against them, so yeah. we've got to be careful about those. Probably send some spears towards them if we can. Maybe I can burn the forest. <laughs> I'm sending spears there. They're not actually called amazing lances, they're called Amazig lances. Yes, they are. <laughs> still. It's the, it was still it's, pretty funny it's, too. It looks really a bit like amazing lances, and to be fair, they seem amazing anyway. Seem to be a pretty outstanding yeah. unit, so. Right, your pikes would help against. That cab. Looks pretty good though. Um, yeah, I think we're, we're gonna win this one. It doesn't. It didn't really work out uh, their their defensive strategy, f at least for now. Um, yeah, they're wasting now. Now they're wasting their precious shock cavalry on our spears. Um, so they have to break away. Yeah, I'm taking. Um, you see, you see, they're trying that. I stuck down. Uh, trying to break away, but it's a bit too late. Um, that's good. So the, our spears have basically decided that. So in the end, it wasn't actually that bad to have that many spears because it allowed us to have a pretty solid, yeah, defensive um, approach to it. You have to play it a little bit more defensive if if you have that kind of setup. Uh, you have to be more patient and be careful to, you know, use the terrain in your advantage. Scout mm. if you can disorients the enemy if you can mm. get him confused and force him to do what you you know to break the line yeah. um, in the way you want I mean uh, you, you don't have to play it like you, you have to be you know flexible and, and use different strategies based mm. on, on you know what happens during the battle so yeah if you play it only just you know one way based on the on the kind of, of setup of setup you know army setup you have you might end up you know losing a lot of men yeah 
on battle that was, you know, ca could have been won, you know, without any casualties. So you have to be, you have to be careful. I'm gonna bring my generals back to yeah, this gonna, area and. I was gonna actually, say, you gotta be careful about that. Um, not not engage with um, their their lances. Um, you can you can basically snipe. I'm gonna chase. Take out their 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 bowmen. Um, I say that general is general is, is is flying is is fleeing away, but I will have my my yeah. spears ready for him, and it there he goes. So and I have another one coming from behind. You sent your pipes over. Oh no, they're broken already. So yeah, that's that's basically it. That's that battle over. To be honest, I I doubt that I have a lot of casualties on this one, despite them having a a. Uh, Quite, quite, you know, a lot of good units. Mm. Well, it's definitely this is if uh, the, terra this the one. terrain really worked for us. Yeah, you have to use the terrain in your advantage, mm. and you know we use the scout units that have the guerrilla mod to, mm. um, you know, make him run and yeah, and um, confuse him and, and not really uh, set up a line. They, there was no defensive line when you moved over. You were still in, in formation, whereas <laughs> he my core units uh, were were hidden, so mm. most of my armies were you know were away, and it was just you know chasing yeah. the units. So yeah, at the end we we did we did well. So that's one unit down, one army down, three more to go. Yeah, in this uh, uh, kingdom of Rome. Yeah. Path essentially. So yeah, I think uh, we should we should probably wrap it up here. Um, yes, I think we've we've shown you quite a lot. Hopefully, yeah. um, you've enjoyed it. Um, the last Roman campaign is out on the twenty fifth of June. Yeah, um, it's it's pretty nifty little um, piece of content. Yeah, you should you should definitely check it out. Um, watch what we've got I think we might have one more stream coming up yeah I think uh, by the time you watch this video there will be one more stream or two more streams one definitely on the day of release check uh, out that go onto yeah. our wiki page if you want more information on the factions um, or on our steam page and um, yeah check out our um, actually check out the podcast at the end yeah. of the week as well um, if you want to know more about the free LC that's coming out alongside yeah um, the the last Roman yeah. and yeah that's pretty much it thank you very yeah. much for watching yeah um, and um, yeah if you if you liked it leave a like subscribe to our YouTube channel we'll have more videos coming soon um, yeah there's plenty um, of videos coming up yeah so um, yeah keep an eye and uh, yeah see you later.